I got this new keyboard last week. It's the Moonlander by ZSA. And I mentioned in my last video that I would share or present my custom keyboard layout that I've just come up with. This isn't quite it because I still have the F with a bump in there. That's a holdover from the QWERTY layout and the J on the other side. So I'm going to get the F out of there. There's a keyboard pun for you. Uh, the box that the Moonlander came in comes with a nice contraption to remove the keycap easily. Now F is a relatively common letter, but not that common. T is by far the most common consonant in English, and so that's the one that belongs under the index finger on the home row, which is arguably one of our best fingers, the index. And so on the other side, J, that's just unacceptable. J is extremely infrequent as a consonant, does not belong there. The R belongs there, which is very frequent. Yeah, so this is my keyboard layout. And I've used the orange RGB color to highlight what is the home row in an ortholinear columnar split keyboard such as this one. You'll see that the pinky naturally touches the bottom row as opposed to the middle one on a keyboard like this. The other three keys remain the same. On the right side you have the letter H for instance can be placed in the bottom row for the pinky and it's very easy to touch the P too just above, right? The original pinky position on a regular keyboard. And, and when you type with the P, you can combine it with the other high frequency letters on the home row. Same thing on the left side, you have easy access to the U with your pinky, and which you can combine with N and S and T. US and UT are actually fairly frequent letter combinations. So, anyhow, this is my custom keyboard layout that I'm just learning, frankly. And so I'll post a video later about how I'm getting along with it. But it's based on one of the most pleasant gestures when you're typing, or is moving your fingers in this inward rolling manner. And that gesture is optimized in this particular layout. Okay, so Right here on the left here are the top letter combinations in English in order. It's going down. This is from norvig.com. A popular layout called Colmac that uh, tries to capitalize on inward rolls. And in practice, it doesn't do so great. It's about 20%, which is pretty good, of, say, the top 100 letter combinations are inward rolls, but when you look, say, at the top 25, there's only six inward rolls. So another keyboard layout, it's uh, lesser known. This is called One Product. It's by somebody from Montreal. And it does pretty well. It Also, it's it's around the same uh, in level of inward rolls. See, so it's about 21%. And once again, it doesn't do as well with some of the higher frequency letter combinations, but 21% is pretty good. But it still has quite a high alternation rate, you know, between hands, so 70%. So the the creator of one product has actually said that they prefer Colmac, has a little bit less alternation. So let's bring up mine, which uh, is this one right here that you saw on my keyboard. It does really well in terms of those letter bigrams, those letter combinations. So in the, in the top 100, there are 36 in rolls. So that's 36% in roll rate, which is pretty good. And especially when you go into the higher frequency items, you move from, say, 36% in rolls in the top 25 letter combinations. We're up to 13 in rolls, which amounts to 52% of the top letter combinations are so things like I N E R H E O R S T N T A R N D A L I T I S E A N G these are all uh, in rolls 
in my layout, and those account for the majority of the letter combinations among the top 25. And you see there's fewer of them in the, the higher numbers, and you see in the top 125 or top 150, you start getting a couple of same finger combinations in my layout too. But the higher frequency items certainly favor in-rolls in my layout. I'm just still learning this layout, as I mentioned, so let me just show you the training software. I still find it hard to use the mouse function on my keyboard, but I'll eventually figure it out. Just I like the idea of not having to use a mouse anymore. So I'll just bring this up here. <laughs> so this is the way it, it is, the beginning of getting used to using a new keyboard with all this functionality here. And so let me just bring over this. So, so I'll just type some of the most frequent letter combinations of the right hand, like ER, there's uh, AR, HE, obviously you found he, her, the, HA, HO, uh, v e v is actually surprisingly common. There's h a v e like have or give. O w e w p r p l yeah f r from is really fun to type with enrolls. Four is single enroll or all, all. Uh, e x. I can write people with a single hand too. Okay, let's turn to some two-hand practice. There's hearing, four. America. These all consist of, you know, two letter sequences. Original, it. Yeah, well, I have a long ways to go, so an update will be much later.